Hello and welcome to a new game here on the channel. But right again, playing Pirate 52. So B5. To do this here. Couple of options, but I think this is interesting. I checked this um, actually for keep it simple D4. Okay. So it uh, looks a little bit trollish <laughs> what Black is doing. What kind of account is that? Oh, he's got tons of Blitz games, just only Blitz, nothing else. Okay, so let's go A4. Now, what do we do? See C3 here, maybe? Attack this. Looks like a quick development then. like takes knight takes i'm not sure that knight takes actually best honestly b takes also looks fine with queen b3 coming with a tempo it looks better even actually i i don't expect that move though i expect a5 something something more ambitious Knight f3, b5 um, is an interesting move, actually. It, it has a really bad reputation, but I'm not so sure about e4, bishop b7 then. Yeah, something, something uh, more ambitious like that was also what I expected. The question is now, do we want to take on c5 or what are we doing here? Taking this also looks um, promising in my mind. I wonder, maybe he wants to, no. I thought he maybe wants to take on um, d4. Move a5 is interesting in this position. Hmm, that's a tough one. You want to invest this tempo and isolate the b4 pawn here. Like when this is on a5, there has, he has no natural way to cover, cover that pawn. Okay, is knight h5 something that should worry me? Not sure, but I'm going to invest this move. Or invest the time for this move is probably better English. That's a bit surprising. Okay, um, so I can check. It makes sense, actually. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad move. But it, it blunts my bishop. So, okay, I'm going to check him first. Now, yeah, knight b3 or knight c4. That's the thing. Okay, I will castle first. That's uh, necessary anyway. What am I doing with the knight on f3? This is interesting. Probably this knight should go to c4 yeah, at the end of the day. So I'm not playing knight c4 here. I could have done that actually. Anyway, I cannot allow knight takes g3. So I can make this move first and then think about details. The issue here for black is the a5 pawn. It's always attacked with, uh, by the knight. And a natural move like rook c8 is not possible. Okay, um, interesting. Now he's attacking my pawn. But I want to get rid of his centralized knight. So this move is kind of natural. He takes it, queen takes, bishop d5. Bishop d5 maybe. Yeah, queen d3 was my idea. Keeping this covered. And maybe I get an e4 here. Yeah, e4. 
pushing this uh, bishop back. Okay, that's a radical solution. Maybe not a bad solution. So rook c2 maybe. Just claiming that I'm a little bit quicker on the c file, right? The a rook c1. I can. I, I completely forgot that he has rook c8 here. Interesting. So I take it and then I go all the way to d3, right? Yeah. What is this position? Is this equal or? Okay. If he takes it, okay, did not. Okay, I guess. Mm, yeah, this is an interesting situation here. I wonder what, what this is. Equal or? If, he has, if I have something, maybe not. Slightly surprising that he is playing like this. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's fine. Could be. Yeah, it's it's very concrete. I mean, very concrete. If he gets something with the e pawn going or not. King f six. Mm -hmm. I'd like to, of course, get this pawn in motion. I have, I have an outside passer potentially. Probably still a draw. I don't see how I can get g5 going. He has a fortress in some way with the uh, with this. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe there were some chances. I think. Um, right out of the opening i should have had some advantage so okay h4 something i mean black's opening play is certainly risky but i was erring on the conservative side here h4 is certainly possible but this is just a good structure right so let's just i just want to see if um a5 was possible but this, this is still looking pretty good kind of curious when it starts to just be okay any yeah, here already. Yeah, and now he just goes for this. Maybe I can just play bishop a6 here as well, or bishop c6. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Bishop c6, this is actually kind of an echo move of Karpov's bishop a7, right? Against Unziker. The game from the Nice Olympiad 1974. And Karpov was playing bishop a7 on the a file and then doubled behind it. And this is the same thing. Yeah? I play this and then I double behind it. 
It's funny. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, this is a very classy move that, I mean, I would find that for sure in a, in a longer uh, time control game, but not, not here. Yeah, I mean, this, this is just keeping some advantage, but it's nothing special. We need four is good, yeah. We're being more aggressive. I was not playing aggressively in this game or the game before, really. I was just like content with keeping an advantage. And here, this is kind of fizzling, even though I feel I should have something. Here, here. So I took it. Bishop takes. So I now king c4. Ah, of course I can go to, ah, that was silly. That was silly, really. Now, now I see it immediately because the thing is, if I go here, he has to do this first and yeah, yeah, ah, of course. And then it's a tempo and then it gets me here. That is, that's just probably over, right? Ah, it's a pretty awful oversight. And after b3, it's over, right? Yeah, in terms of an advantage. Maybe after he was a bit ambitious there, maybe there was something somewhere here. But, uh, I doubt it. It's really almost impossible to get um, get a passer really in motion. Oh, bishop f5 is much stronger because that actually gets the passer. Yeah, I don't get it here because he manages to go to c5. Yes, so I have to go here and then I actually get this in. With the bishop here, I prevent uh, the knight coming to d7. Yeah, okay. And that is very strong. Like this, this is strong. Knight d5 is not really an issue because the knight is far away from attacking anything here. And then I get the pawn roll in. That should win. And here he he got got there just in time. This is really just a draw. There's nothing nothing to do there. Yeah, I missed some chances not playing actively enough. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.